Yeah. Let's play Marathon. I think I'm going to make Monster Party my finale for this, because that is an infamously uh, fucking strange game. I just did Splatterhouse Graffiti, uh, Wanpaku, Wanpaku Graffiti. Try some Monster in my pocket. Um, Konami, it's a Konami game. It's a good sign. Um, license from Morrison Entertainment. Always a sign of uh, the utmost. I have no idea what this game, what it is, so I'm going into this blind. Looks like there's something inside that pocket. Oh shit. They're Battle Beasts! Battle Beast in my pocket. Ah. Alright, there are monsters in that pocket. Let's go. 80s Konami game I've never uh, heard of or played. That makes me excited. Alright, player one vampire or player one the monster? I'm gonna go with vampire. Aww. We're watching a little Konami branded TV. Look at those tiny friends! Oh. <laughs> they weren't watching anything. I sent out my henchmen while you were watching a black screen, waiting for me to appear. Okay, so presumably that guy's Warlock. I like the cut of his jib, though. The slow run. That doesn't go well. Alright, monsters in my house. I hope you stage follows that naming convention. Alright, I'm Dracula. I got a little claw attack. Jump, no time limit. Oh, a double jump. Kind of rare in the NES days. Double jump. A point meter down there. Oh, I like those small things. I also like how you're all shrunk down and you're doing giant stuff. Oh my god. Some serious slowdown going on. Oh. Man, if this is two player, like simultaneous co op, like uh, Chippendale, that would be awesome. So I'm guessing I have to get this key to the end of the level, given that I can't backtrack. Let's see if that hypothesis holds true. Your, uh, your double jump isn't, it's a little odd too. Like, after you reach a certain point, you can stop getting greedy there. Um, in your jump, you can no longer hit A again to jump. handles background elements really uh, kind of intuitively and smartly. Like, everything I, I want to be able to jump on, I can. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I kind of want that key. I mean, this is empowering, but... I lost my key. If I get to the end of the level, I need that key. I'll take back every good thing I said about this game. The enemy's really strangely monochromatic, too. It's really kind of weird. The color palette is really weird and pink. And... The swooping guys are my least favorite monster. Uh, out of my pocket. Or in my pocket. Favorite monster, of course. Uh, select does nothing, A and B does nothing. I want to see if I have like, a special ability or anything. Favorite monster of all time. Uh, clutch dodge, right there. Um, Beholder. Dungeon & Dragons. People listening to the show know I'm a huge Dungeon & Dragons nerd. Um, I actually pulled this out of my ass and I'm pretty impressed with myself. Uh, I love Beholders. Um, they just look cool. I think it's... Um, one of the best Google image searches you can do. You... Oh! Start, I wasn't expecting to be started off right there. Um, if you want to... Oh, I was so close, too. <laughs> but uh, Google image search, best Google image search, Beholder, second best Google image search, The King in Yellow. 
Lovecraft monster. Things of all kinds of cool looking art. Love it. Um, third best image search. Monster Dong. <laughs> um, oh man, that thing with its head? So if I get this key to the end of the level, something clearly cool happens, so... I feel compulsion to try that. Should be careful, a little bit more careful about... Oh. I guess I should be very careful about throwing it given that it just disappeared. I'm a little disappointed in that. Uh, but it does mean that I'm going to be on Wikipedia checking what happens if you get the key all the way to the end of the level. That's the end of the... I shouldn't go down this. Oh, he's throwing sugar cubes at me. My standard sugar goblin. I'm gonna go back to that life actually. His little running. Oh, I'm not. His little running guys are. Oh, I do not like them. Fuck. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, it's good deal. This is like a more than a little like Chip Dale. It's... Oh, I love it. Thanks to uh, Eric Hyde and I think uh, maybe Joel Torres, two people suggested this game. This is actually pretty fun. Um. Hard. I mean, I guess like the ultimate test of how hard this is going to be is going to depend on how uh, forgiving or unforgiving, as it were, the uh, continue system is. Um, zero continues? Probably a little bit too much for me. I don't like hard games. We didn't spend... Uh, um, on Thursday, day after Halloween, you will hear our uh, evisceration of Toomba. Um, and uh, I didn't spend very much time talking about it. I was kind of expecting to, but I don't like hard games. Um, it's not for me. It's not that interested. Oh. Oh. You're just like a little bit too slow for the kind of maneuvers I'm trying to do. Oh, he can freeze you. That sucks. I thought I did something special for a second. And now he knows how to do your invincibility period, though. I feel like that seems appropriate. And you're, there's not enough for your jump is very vertical. There's not very much horizontal to it. It's also very hard to kind of juke that guy because I don't know when he's going to stop. So as you can see, I several times I jumped over him and ended up uh, landing on him. You can see how the continue system in this game works. Okay, three continues. I continue with the boss. I continue at the kitchen. I was going to just switch over and try to be Frankenstein. I want to see if there's a difference in the way they play. This does give me a chance, though, to try to continue with this key. Let's just treat this like as like an action platformer. Where I do not stop to engage anything. As you can see, part of the reason why I don't like card games is because I'm not very good at I wish that would have acted as an umbrella. Yeah, you're just like, you're a little bit... Oh, come on! Oh, bullshit. You're just like a little bit pokey. Yeah, let's see if I can uh, for real make it this range that uh, hard is over here. Oh, see, I thought I was gonna... I just pointed at the screen. I love it when I do that. It's fucking dumb. I was going to be able to land on top of that sink thing. No more dice. I'm missing all kinds of dumb damage. To be fair though, I'm not very maneuverable. And to be fair, that is historically accurate for the Dracula monster in his pocket. So this is kind of showing some flaws. These enemies aren't placed or anything, it doesn't feel like. 
They're more or less just kind of, ooh, hey, 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 hey. No! Get up, you idiot! No! Oh, that was some bullshit. You guys see that? So I slow him down when I hit him, but not enough to where I can jump out of the way. That would actually be very cool if I could hit him, and then it would slow him down enough for me to get out of the way, and it would be kind of this, like, bull rush thing. That would have been cool. And that delay he has before charging is really throwing me off, too. Huh, I just never know when he's gonna stop. Alright, I'm gonna try not continuing and see what freaking signs like. And that's gonna be it for Monster in my pocket. Or really creepy music. If it's two player simultaneous co op, it probably rules. Right? I'm sure that's great. Skip, oh, let's me skip the prologue, I like that. Frankenstein at this point feels actually like quite a bit faster. And his attack seems faster too. I wonder what the trade-off is. If there is indeed a difference, I didn't just like invent it in my head, which is totally possible. He's wearing sneakers too. Doing the dishonored uh, way of getting through these things, right? Always making sure I'm up on a higher plane than the enemy. Oh. See, this is cool, at least. Like, you didn't even really encounter these things. I mean, I think I saw one of them for like a second, but. but so far, my pro tip is to play as Frankenstein. Yeah. I wonder if that's an accepted thing. It speaks to the quality of this game that I am going to go look that up, though. I have to be sure I don't like throw that key into the, the crevice there. Or at the end, so I can't get it so I can have it last time. I really feel like Dracula should be more maneuverable, and Frankenstein should be stronger and slower. A classic final fight, Guy Cody, Hagar kind of setup thing, but not the case. Oh shit. Oh cool. Alright. I guess it was a glitch when it fell through before. I couldn't get down. Oh, hey! You hold down jump, but I'm charged somehow. Right? No, 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 no. So I can charge anything? You guys all saw me glowing on the stairs, though, right? I do not know what that is. That was a pro. That was not pro dodge, but. Pro throw. Alright. Do I just get to use this as a weapon on him? Is that the... What is he? Is he one of the cheetah men that I'm always reading about on Kickstarter? I really want to hit him with a key and see what happens. Okay, so it destroys his weapons, his daggers. Well, so does everything. Oh, no, 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 no. They're being very generous to the edge of the screen this time. They weren't before. So I'm going to ignore the key and concentrate on killing the Cheetah Man. This, I like this boss fight a lot more than the other one. Like, this is actually seems timed, you know, appropriately to my skill set here and to my, you know, command list. All right, I got the key. What happens? Please be something. Okay, big trouble in the kitchen. Apparently nothing. Well, that, I'm sure it's something. I don't know what it is. It might be very useful against that boss, though, if I can get it to it. Oh, 
I got extra life. I wish I could backtrack. I don't think anything well no, surprising would be hurt by allowing me to backtrack. So maybe you just want the key because it can act as a weapon. That would be kind of an interesting way to do it, but why would you choose something as like... I was gonna say symbolic as a key, but it's not really a symbol. It's just like... It is a thing. Like, it has a purpose, and it's a well-worn, established purpose in video games, you know? That purpose is to be fucking annoying, usually. Um, but... Music's losing its shine a little bit. It's a little, like, too, you know, trouble on Melvac, like, party off music. One of those plates has discrete planes. It's kind of interesting. Between this and Splatterhouse, this is a pretty good crop here. What happens if I introduce the keys to each other? I am Gozar, the key master. I am also Gozar. I am also the key master. Come on, come on, you girl. So hitting him seems to trigger charge. I am way more maneuverable as Frankenstein. What universe does that make sense? Look how I can like run, pick it up, and jump out of the way like in time. I totally could not come at me, bro. I totally could not do that before. Why is Rocky that so slow? Can you turn to a bat or something? I don't know how to do it. Fuck. Two lives left. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna beat this. Alright, got the key. Got the bucket of croutons in the freezer. What's gonna happen? It's Captain Crunch and Crunchberries up there above me. That vampire is really realistically drawn, too. It's good art. Alright, Crisis from Underground. Some deja vu music. Nice vertical bubbles. Castlevania, Fireball. Oh, fuck you. Okay, now enemies are taking more than one hit to kill. Okay. Yeah, those things are fast. And I can't jump up on that plane in the background. Okay! Difficulty spike. Monster in my pocket. Oh, I could use that help. Invincible golf balls. I'm gonna die here in a second. Yeah. I have any extra lives. Okay. I can't, yeah, yeah. So that's it for me and Monster in My Pocket. This is a good game. Like, if it's two player co op, which I kind of, you know, think maybe it is because of the two life totals on the bottom, play this with people. This is fun. Anyway, that's it for uh, Watch Out for Fireballs, Halloween Marathon, uh, Night Before Halloween. Um, and these will trickle out, and Halloween Night, Call of Cthulhu, and keep listening to the show. Thanks. Bye.